All right, let's go through a general dynamic warm up that I hope is easy to follow. So here we go. Gonna start off with jumping jacks. Get the blood pumping. So let's say we do 30 of those. And then from there, I'm gonna go into what we could call multi-segmental rotation. Feet are about hip width apart, glued into the ground. I'm gonna turn from hips and shoulders. I'm breathing in here. I'm gonna blow it out as I look at an imaginary person behind me. So I'm trying to keep these feet glued into the ground. I'm gonna rotate. And I'm gonna rotate. So you should feel these in your obliques. So let's say we do 10 of those. This would be one. Breathe out. I'm holding it for a second as I turn my maximum rotation and looking over my shoulder. Just getting that good rotation. So let's say we do 10 of those, five each way. From there, I'm gonna do these Michael Phelps arm swings. So I'm nice and tall, opening and closing my chest and working my back muscles as well. So I'm alternating which arm is on top each time, slapping my back. So as I open my chest, shoulder blades are coming together. So I'm closing my back, opening my chest, and then vice versa, as I close chest, I'm really separating my shoulder blades. So I'm getting chest and back on that. So go by feel, but let's say do at least 20 of those. From there, I'm gonna go into some scarecrows. So, 90 degree angle here at the elbow, and then 90 degree with my arm away from my shoulder. I'm trying to make all this action happen really at my shoulder blade. So, rotator cuff muscles around the shoulder blades is really what we're trying to tap into. So this is good before all of our pushing exercises. Notice that it's like this is a barbecue skewer and that's what's rotating, like rotisserie or something. I'm not moving through my spine. This is all about my shoulder. So we get about 10, 15, 20, whatever you're feeling on those scarecrows. From there, we're going to get a little bit more intense with some steam engines. I got my hands behind the my back of my head, and I'm just gonna try to bring opposite knee up to my elbow. Steam engines. We're looking for about 20 to 30 total on that. That's another one like the jumping jacks designed to get my heart rate up. From there, I'm gonna go into some hip flexion and extension. So a hip flexion toe touch. This is where I breathe out. Go into extension, breathing in. When I go down to touch my toes, I'm driving my butt backwards. I'm gonna feel my hamstrings. Breathing in. So here's flexion through the hips, extension through the hips. Touch my toes, reach through the sky. Just remember to breathe. Breathing out, up here through extension, breathing in. So hip flexion extension. From there, I'm gonna to go to squat to stand. We have some other clever names for these, but some people call it a stripper squat. Squat position here, feet about shoulder width apart. I'm gonna come down into a squat. Now I'm just gonna raise my butt up, straighten my legs, getting into my hamstrings. I'm sitting nice and low in the squat, trying to get my chest up, pressing my elbows into my knees to just get into my groin a little bit. I'm just gonna straighten my legs, still hanging on to my toes. So getting into all these muscles around my hips and groin, sitting tall into this squat, chest up. Do your best with this one. Straightening my legs, get my hamstrings. I'm holding that for a few seconds. Let's say we get 10 of these squat to stand. 
After that, we could go into inchworm to push up. So once again, hamstrings here. So I'm gonna come down, touch my toes. I'm gonna inch myself out into a push up position. I can go ahead and get that push up. Now I'm just gonna walk slowly, feet into my hands. I'll stand back up and then I'll go right back to it. Inching myself out, another push up. Hands stay where they are. I'm gonna walk feet into hands. Let's get about five of those. If you really need a little bit more, go for 10. So after that, we're gonna go with an alternating lateral lunge. So the way that this one looks is standing tall. I'm gonna lunge out to this side, push myself back. I'm gonna lunge out to this side, push myself back. So the idea behind this is I'm gonna shift all my weight into my right foot, into this right thigh, sitting into this back right hip. My spine angle stays pretty much straight, meaning I'm pushing back through my hips. I'm not hunched into this position. That's bad form, even though we don't have any weight. So once again, all my weight's coming into this right foot, into this right quad, sitting into my right hip or my glute, pushing myself back. And then I would just alternate to the other side, pushing back. Anywhere from 10 to 20 total is gonna be good for you on that. So from there, I'm gonna go into a forward lunge with some rotation. So that's gonna look like step out into my lunge. I'm gonna rotate around this front side knee. My eyeballs are gonna follow that hand. So here on this side, left, I'm gonna rotate around this left knee, push myself back. Out, eyes follow that hand, push myself back. Lunging out, now I'm on this left side, I'm gonna rotate to the left, push myself back. So we got some good warm up there for the lower body, plus we're getting another element of rotation. So then from there, let's finish this thing off with five burpees. We know the rules, form is key. I'm gonna come down, chest to deck, drive myself back up, little hop, right? If your form gets really out of whack on your burpees, take it slow. Come down into your push-up position, come down chest to deck, push yourself back up, here, hop, all right? Remember, it is part of the warm-up though, so you know we're wanting to finish with a little bit of our uh, heart rate coming up too. So, that's an easy to follow warm up. Get after it. Touches everything that we need before we exercise.